Once upon a time in the project. Ship has landed, just like Bootsy predicted. I'm sure it's not aliens. It's probably just the police. Goody, come back to bed. Look, I'll be back in a few minutes. But now it is my celestial duty to spread my phone throughout the universe. Excuse me, sir. You're standing in our shot. Hey, what's going on out here? We're shooting a movie. Foreign Line Pictures has chosen your projects as the location for a movie. Oh, really? And I've chosen your ass as the location to put my foot if you don't get out of here. Now, turn those lights off. People around here have to get up and look for work in the morning. Don't worry, sir. Y you won't even know we're here. Damn right. <laughs> Boy, am I beat. Good night, Miriam. Oh, boy, do I feel refreshed. Nothing like a good night's sleep. Rat and shine, Rip Van Winkle. Time to make breakfast. Thurgood, we just got in bed. Those are the movie lights. What? Hey, this has been going on for a week. I got half a mind to go out there right now and... Daytime look like night, and nighttime look like day. I don't know if I'm skipping my day job or my night job. Hey, what's going on? They're shooting a love scene in the lobby, and we can't get into our apartments. This is ridiculous. They can't keep us from coming and going in our own building. Only the health department can do that. Now, come on. Oh, All right, that's it. You shut down. I want you to pack up. And get out by 9 o'clock, Chopton, or you're going to have a hell of a Tawana brawl on your hands. Uh, we're, we're sorry. We, we don't mean inconvenience anybody. Look, we have a few roles left in the film. Why don't we let you people audition for them? Huh? We can be in the movie? Do you need a narrator? I once appeared on Sabato Gigante. Movie? Ooh, it sounds like fun. Out of my way! Maybe a little bribe will work on their feeble minds, but not me. Now, why don't you take your film and shove it up your... What the... Jackie Chan! You didn't tell me it was a Jackie Chan movie! I love Jackie Chan! He's my hero! I gotta get into that movie! Oh, my God. 
Attention, everyone. I'm Elton Davis, director of the film. We searched high and low to find the perfect neighborhood to shoot this film. And yours is number one. What's this movie called? Hellhole 2, The Land That Hope Forgot. Now, let's get started, shall we? I have a great deal of experience in playing the sassy black maid. Well, I'm sorry, there's no part like that in this movie. Well, land of Goshen, Mr. D. You done better put one of those in, or I don't know what I'm going to do about you. See? That's enough. Next. Wait, wait, wait. I also played a funky grandma with raps. A hip. Uh -huh. Ow! I broke my hip. Now I got to hop. Ooh, where's the casting couch? I'm Thurgood Stubbs, chief superintendent of the Hilton Jacobs Projects. Did you have something prepared, Mr. Stubbs? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, first on my resume, under special skills, please add unicycling, snorkeling, and British accent. <clears throat> uh, pip pip Cherry, uh, Bob your uncle, and River Dutchie. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, what would you like to see next? Uh, how about my landlord of the dance? <laughs> We'd like to see you leave. <laughs> Nailed it. I want to play the gang leader. And I want to play the weak, pathetic pimp whose hoes don't respect him. What? What kind of movie is this? <laughs> There's nothing but gangbangers, hoochie mamas, thieves. Ain't there any positive roles? My character got time off for good behavior. <laughs> I knew it. We've been had. Damn entertainment industry. What are you talking about? Can't you see what they're doing? This is how Hollywood gets you. Don't you realize that Hollywood is responsible for all society's ills? Maybe the movie will be a good thing. It might bring jobs and money to the local economy. But at what cost? So the movies can portray us as gangsters? That ain't us. Hell, you just have to look at the liquor billboards to see how we really are. Cool and successful and happening with the ladies. It's the liquor companies that are our real friends. That and cigarette billboards that promise if you smoke their product, you'll have a nice skinny baby. So what are we supposed to do? I tell you what, we break their cameras, destroy their equipment, and vandalize their trucks. We'll teach them to portray us as violent. No justice, no movie. No, no justice. justice. Oh, what do we do now, sir? Don't worry, I've been through this before. All we have to do is make them feel like their voices are being heard. Just find the loudest, most obnoxious goofball to be the community liaison to the film. Which one? That clown. <laughs> Okay, the camera moves in on his cold, steely eye as he surveys the barren landscape of the projects. And action. Wait, wait, wait. On action. God, something wrong, Mr. Stubbs. You mean Chief Technical Advisor Stubbs. Yeah, you got someone here getting shot over their jacket. That doesn't happen in the projects anymore. If people die in the projects, they die of natural causes, like heart attacks or routine traffic stops. Okay. What would you suggest? Well, why can't he work for a living, save money, and buy his own damn jacket? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I tell you what. We'll shoot it both ways. That's good. That's good. Now, see, we got a monologue going here. Oh, one more thing. Here. Have a hell hat. Ooh, thank you. Oh, and about to see you with the sports bottle. Hey, thanks. 
Welcome to the Dream Factory, Muriel. Care for a bagel? It must be some kind of Hong Kong donut. I've been looking for you all day. I've been down there all day learning about how to make movies. You see that guy over there? He's called the Gaffer. And that's Jim the Rigger. Hey, Rigger Jim. He's the head rigger in charge. They're good, haven't you been monitoring? These people are show folk. They're honest and have integrity, and they wouldn't try to slip anything objectionable past me. Okay, Crockett, raise your Uzi and action. What about that? What the... Uh... Something wrong, Mr. Stubbs? Is something wrong? You got a crackhead in the dumpster killing everybody in sight. That is so 80s project. And... Hey, what's the holdup? Look, just give this homeless guy some money and let's get on with it. Actually, this is the janitor from the projects. He's been on our ass all day, saying we aren't showing the projects the way they really are. Well, he does live here. Maybe we should listen to him. You should? Why not? You the expert, not us. Well, uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Stubbs. Uh, wait, wait, I mean, Mr. Chan. Uh, you can call me Jackie. Wait, you, Jackie, call me uh, Thurgood. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Jackie. I'm just uh, really excited to meet you. You know, you're my hero and all. I, I go to all your movies. Uh, I'm always the first one to yell out, Don't go in there, Jackie! Even though you're not a brother, I got your back. Well, give me my back. Back! <laughs> <laughs> That's rich. You're rich, and I'm poor. Now I'm sad. Tell me another joke to cheer me up. Is there something you wanted to say about the scene, Mr. Stubbs? We need to get back to work? Hey, don't talk to my buddy Turgood like that. I really want to hear what he has to say. Really? Sure. Well, Jackie, why does it have to be a crackhead firing a gun? Why can't it be a more positive image for a black man? I understand, Togood. There's a lot of racism directed at us Asians, too. That's why we have to work harder to excel at school. Yeah, that can't be easy, especially with that stupid-ass chicken scratch y'all gotta learn. <laughs> what? Oh, you funny. You remind me of uh, the Jimmy Walker. Dynamite! <laughs> yeah, you know I get in this friendship right now. Oh, sorry. Gotcha! <laughs> Dynamite! <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> oh, you are right, so good. Let me ask you something. See, it doesn't really look good for me to go around beating up positive role models, you know? I gotta beat up a bad guy. I'm supposed to be the hero. Well, I understand you have to beat up somebody. I guess you could beat up the crackhead. After all, crack is bad. <laughs> uh, crack is what? What you're gonna be seeing is what we call a rough cut of the final film. 
But first, I want to thank someone who really made the difference on this shoot. Our technical advisor, who taught us what the projects are really like. My new best friend, Two Good Stubs. <clears throat> on behalf of my good friend Jackie Chan and myself, enjoy our film. We hope you love it long time. <laughs> yeah. It's better than this. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. Such crime, such poverty. It's beautiful. That crackhead jumped my car. Oh, well, just another day in the project. Way to go, technical advisor. Thanks for selling us out. Yeah, you really did make it look like a hellhole. The home that Thurgood Stubbs forgot. Wait, wait, I can fix this. Uh, would anybody like a hat? They're made in Korea by Jackie's people. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <sighs> well, I'll let my guard down, Walter. I'm supposed to be the keeper of the image. The project is a bad enough place to live without people making it look like a bad place to live. Well, why don't you talk to the director? Oh, him. He's completely unreasonable. He won't even talk to me. He won't even let Jackie talk to me. It's like he just want to release his big movie and make lots of money, and he don't care whose hammer toes he step on. Hmm. Uh, Thurgood, let me ask you. Uh, what would happen if, say, hypothetically speaking now, hypothetically, a police officer stopped by the production office and found that their permits weren't in order? Or perhaps you discover some illegal drugs. <laughs> or maybe a body that's been missing since Labor Day weekend. Well, I guess you'd have to confiscate the film. But I don't think any of those things are going on there. Ah, but suppose a corrupt police officer showed up. Walter, you do that for me? <laughs> hey! Hmm? Come on. Hmm? Hmm? Well, what happened? Uh, hypothetically speaking, suppose a corrupt police officer went down to the production office and was offered a high-paying job as a security guard. <gasps> they bribed you! Now, hold on. Before you go throwing around an ugly word like bribery, I got a few questions to ask you about a body that's been missing since Labor Day. <gasps> I think we understand each other. Get this right down to the studio and be careful. It's the only negative. Oh, look here, while I do that, would you do me a favor and read this screenplay I wrote? It's kind of a hyper-violent version of Lolita. <laughs> the hell? Now, Thurgood, you ain't thinking about trying something funny like taking this film. Negative. What do you mean the film isn't there yet? I sent it an hour ago. I'll find it! 
<laughs> Say goodbye to your phlegm. There's only one man capable of writing this. <laughs> So good. I thought we were friends. Remember? Dynamite! <laughs> Why are you trying to ruin my movie? My job was to protect the image of this neighborhood, and I screwed it up. Your movie is not the project. If you want to see the project, look over there. And look over there. That's the project. And over there, that's the... Wait, hold on, Jackie. Don't look over there. Anyway, you see what I'm saying, Jackie? I've lived in the projects all my life. People in the projects don't have a lot. But the one thing they have is pride. And when this movie comes out, it's going to hurt the pride and souls of a lot of good, decent people who are going to kick my black ass. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Well, I was a minute ago. But you were coming at me with those widow makers. What was I supposed to do? Jackie, thank God you've got the film. Give it to me. You know, I think these people are right. We should reshoot some of this movie. Forget it, Jackie. I'm the director and I say I'm not going to change frame one of this film. Well, you know who I am. I'm Jackie Chan. And I'm Thurgood Stood. My friendship with this janitor is worth more than your $50 million summer blockbuster. Now, you have to deal with both of us. I'm sorry you feel that way. Let me introduce my crew. The Clapper. The Gaffer. And I believe you know Riga Jim. So good. Let's do some kung fu. Jackie, I don't know karate, but I know crazy. I guess you're not a fan. Hey, Jackie, good. him like this. What do we do? Who's a black private dick? Who's a sex machine? All the chicks. Shaft? You're damn right. All right. Oh, it's too late, so good. He may have the film, but I have the tape.
I guess that movie is what you call a bomb. <laughs> Hey, could you show me how to do that? Anytime. Thanks, Jackie. You know, you're a real hero, just like in the movies. No, man. You're the real hero. Because you look out for your community. You know what? I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I think so, too, Thurgood. Hey, if you ever get to Hong Kong, look me up. Here's my address. Oh, thanks! Hey, this is Chicken Scratch. Hellhole 2.